Miami Heat Nation. Hello guys, my name is Trent and over here we are going to be covering the Miami Heat's offseason and heading into next year. So guys, if you support the Miami Heat or your favorite team is the Miami Heat, make sure you drop that sub and turn on post notifications. Now in today's video, the Miami Heat has officially dropped their schedule for next year of the 2022-2023 season. So this is going to be a long, long video. So get some popcorn, get some juice, and listen to the Miami Heat schedule. So to start it off, it's going to be October 19th, the home opener versus the Chicago Bulls. October 21st versus the Boston Celtics. October 22nd, we are going to be versus the Toronto Raptors. And on the 24th, Toronto too. So we get one day break and then we play Toronto again. The October 26th, we play Portland. October 27th, we play the Warriors. October 29th, we play the Sacramento Kings. November 1st, we play the Golden State Warriors. November 2nd, we play the Kings. November 3rd, we play the Pacers. November 7th, we play the Portland Trailblazers. November 10th, we play the Hornets. November 12th, we play the Hornets once again. November 14th, we play the Phoenix Suns. November 16th, we play the Toronto Raptors. November 18th, we play the Washington Wizards. November 20th, we play the New you know, the Cleveland Cavaliers. November 22nd, we play the Timberwolves. 23rd, we play the Wizards. The 25th, we play the Wizards once again. The 27th, we play the Atlanta Hawks. And then the 30th, we play the Boston Celtics. So that rounds it out for October and November month. Heading into the December year, we play the Boston Celtics on December 2nd. December 5th, we play the Memphis Grizzlies. December 6th, we play Detroit. We get to see Jaden Ivey. December 8th, we play the Los Angeles Clippers. And December 10th, we play the San Antonio Spurs. Carrying on to December 12th, we play the Pacers. We play the OKC Thunder on the 14th. The 15th, we play the Houston Rockets. We do got a back-to-back, -back, so we're going to get dubs on that. December 17th, we play the San Antonio Spurs. December 20th, we play the Chicago Bulls. The 23rd, we play the Pacers. The 26th, we play the Minnesota Timberwolves. The 28th, we play the Los Angeles Lakers. The 30th, we play the Denver Nuggets. The 31st, we play the Utah Jazz. And now we're going to be heading into the next year in January, which we play the Los Angeles Clippers play against the sec second. The fourth, we play the Lakers. The sixth, we play the Phoenix Suns. So we definitely have a tough stretch right there with the Clippers, Lakers, and Suns. And then we play the Brooklyn Nets on the eighth. So if Kevin Durant's still on that team, those are four tough games that we are definitely going to have to battle. And hopefully we go 4-0. The 10th of January, we play the Oklahoma City Thunder. We play the Bucks on the 12th. The 14th, we play the Bucks once again. That's going to be tough. The 16th, we play the Atlanta Hawks. The 18th, we play the Pelicans. The 20th, we play the Dallas Mavericks. And then the 22nd, we play the Pelicans once again. The 24th, we play the Boston Celtics. The 27th, we play the Orlando Magic. The Hornets on the 29th. And the 31st, we play the Cleveland Cavaliers. That's rounding out the January year. Heading into February, we play the New York Knicks, the Milwaukee Bucks on the 4th. On the 8th, we play the Pacers. On the 10th, we play the Houston Rockets. On the 11th, we play the Orlando Magic. On the 13th, we play the Denver Nuggets. On the 15th, we play the Brooklyn Nets. The 24th, we play the Milwaukee Bucks. The 25th, we play the Charlotte Hornets. And the 27th, we play against the 76ers. And the reason why there's a long break to 15 to 24 is because I believe that's around all-star break. Heading into the March year, near playoffs where it gets very, very fun. Postseason, these games matter a lot. March 1st, we play the 76ers. March 3rd, we play the New York Knicks. March 4th, we play the Atlanta Hawks. March 6th, we play the Atlanta Hawks once again. March 8th, we play the Cleveland Cavaliers. And March 10th, we play the Cavaliers. So for about a four-day stretch, we play the Hawks back-to-back, -back, and then we play the Cavs back-to-back. -back. So that's very interesting to see. And then March 11th, we play the Orlando Magic. 13th, we play the Utah Jazz. The 15th, we play the Memphis Grizzlies. The 18th, we play the Chicago Bulls. The 19th, we play the Detroit Pistons. The 22nd of March, we play the New York Knicks. The 25th, we play the Brooklyn Nets. The 28th, we play the Toronto Raptors. And the 29th, we play the New York Knicks. Heading into April, April 1st, we play the Dallas Mavericks. April 4th, we play Detroit. April 6th, we play the 76ers. April 7th, we play the Boston Wizards. And to finish off the season, April 9th, we play the Orlando Magic. And we're officially heading into the postseason. So those are all 82 games for the Miami Heat. That's their full schedule. You guys, let me in the comment sections. Predict the record for this team heading into next year. I'm super, super excited. Preseason around the corner. Training camp. Tons and tons of content will be coming out. I appreciate y'all so much. I love y'all. And I'm out. Peace.